Now, we're going to spend some time with one of the most remarkable females in my lifetime. She is D.V. Kidd. Just call her D.V. Remember that column I wrote, the first one for News with Views back in 2000? Where have all the men gone? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I had 800 emails from angry men calling me a lesbian and all kinds of things. (laughs) Well, (laughs) That's, you know why? Because I touched a nerve. I said, you guys sit there watching your darn NASCAR while your women and children are in grave danger. And uh, back in 18, uh, you know, 1803, they, the, the men protected their women. And what are you doing? Belly up to the bar to watch some stupid sports thing. Boy, the guys got mad at me. <laughs> okay, the American male is essentially a lost cause. The American female uh, is probably worse. She thinks she's a man now. Uh, in this competition for trophy men, uh, there's nothing more vicious than young women trying to compete with each other with their makeup, their uh, their uh, competition bras, their, oh, their low-cut now, Jeff, pants. Haven't you seen those clever bumper stickers that say, you know, girls at such and such high kick ass? Haven't you seen that? Have I mean, you seen the videos of these teenage girls fight, fight like vicious animals? No, I missed, I'm sorry. Oh, my word. I don't, there's nothing, look, there, there is very little desirable in the majority of younger American women. And usually, the prettier, and I put that in enormous quotations, they are on the outside, the more messed up, vapid, and empty they are on the inside. Because it's all about celebrity, it's all about appearance, it's all about ego. And this pecking order that they, they live in is, is just hideous. So how, you know, do you, how do you come up with a, a real beautiful flower from a garden of trash, values, identities, and all the rest of it? I, I don't know. I, I'm, and men and this, are asking that very question. Who say, Devi, where can I find a nice woman instead of these trashy sluts that exactly. are half drunk out of their minds? Yeah. But stay away from the bars. But I, well, you know, number one. Number two, that's why those Russian dating services are doing so well. But don't don't fall for those guys because they're all basically Israeli-run scams. The girls are under contract. They get flight kickbacks. They get hotel kickbacks. The restaurant tour, all money. So don't go there. And you nice women, you young, good, nice, any age, who still have values and morals, uh, bless each and every one of you and don't give them up. Uh, whatever you do, because you're a vanishing species. It's the pop culture, and if you can call it a culture. Thank you, young lady. Mm, and you that was are. a quick hour. <laughs> Always. Take care of yourself. I, I need to cart Mr. Willie outside here. It's bedtime. <laughs> you're a great mom. <laughs> See okay. you later. All right, bye. Bye.